the lion versus the tiger. Sadie Sadie Sexy Lady asks 10 players which of these two wins in a fight. Now we got a email from Sadie Sadie on Tuesday telling us we forgot a video. Apparently she was right so apologies. She left a request in our H&M video which we told her we'd do. Yet why it wasn't in our request list we don't know but it was 6 months ago so we owe ya. Sadie Sadie's been rocking with us for a while now and she can get quite demanding. That's what makes her a sexy lady. But we dropped a slightly longer detailed version on another one of our channels if you wanna see it Sadie. And for being so cool we're gonna do Gus for ya and a cat mauling video. But this version we've loaded here because this one's where you requested it. So check out your emails for that because we dropped you a little something something extra. Yeah. Because you're a cutie. And we love you too Sadie Sadie. But before we get shit cracking there's a few things we wanna make clear. First. If you just wanna hear a say who wins and you're impatient. This is in the video for ya and you really need to go. Next. We answer questions. Or we simply give our honest view from a true player's perspective with no bias. It's not personal and we have no time for that bias crap. We're in a real world and we need to know what's really going on in it. Personal bias delusions for whatever reasons do absolutely nothing for souls but make them delusional failures. Now. We have great appreciation for both of these ferocious cats. But if you're watching this video with some kind of personal love and bias towards either of these animals. This is not the video for ya. The dislike buttons on the right now get a step in. We said step. Because one of these animals loses. So it's gonna annoy the bias viewer whose favorite cat doesn't win. And those of you like that need to go. Now for those still here who aren't biased and have no particular prejudice towards either cat. You're certainly welcome. But for bias motherfuckers we didn't make this video for them. And for some strange reason quite often they think we did. We do videos for the player crowd. That would be mentally mature motherfuckers interested in truth. Next. We know there's a lot of people who love seeing footage of animal fights. Well this is in one of those videos. Most of those videos are fucking garbage anyway. If there isn't some stupid music playing it's a bunch of chopped up crap editing and junk you don't wanna see before get into the footage in a title. That's if the picture or description in a title's even in a video. More than half the time it's not or isn't but you wanted to see anyway. But we're gonna return later in another video to analyze one of these so called lion vs tiger fights. We'll also be dropping a video on why these trainers get mauled. And yes Sadie Sadie. We personally have some of the sickest never seen before footage. But we're not showing it on YouTube. Because it's potentially worth a lot of money. This video however is just a real talk video. Now to get to your question Sadie Sadie. Lion vs Tiger. Who wins? First thing you should know is this. Big cat fans always want to know which animal can beat the other. Then they hear a story about one kill in a other and decide the victorious cat is the winner for all. There's plenty of stories about these battles and they're true. But just because you heard a lion killed a tiger or a tiger killed a lion and they really did. Doesn't mean it's a fair fight. See many microcosms that are ironically macrocosms go along with these stories that's often left out. And if one has a bias towards the lion or the tiger. The animal that wins in that story is enough to make the fan of that particular cat claim that cat's superior in battle. And you can betcha ass there's lion and tiger fanboys and girls all over. However if you wasn't there and witnessed it don't buy it. For example a lion can kill a tiger. And most will hear that story and simply say the lion must be superior. Though often the storyteller won't tell you the lion was in its prime and the tiger was a fucking sick frail old man tiger that could hardly walk and only had two days before dying of old age anyway. Or that it was a tigress the lion killed that wasn't even half grown. Or the tiger killed a lion that was sick. Or caged. Or they stabbed the lion before the battle even began. Some of the stories we can tell of battles would shock those who don't know. There's even been cats that's been declawed and had their teeth pulled before battle just so the favorite can win. And they fool y'all who just wanna see eye candy with this bullshit. That's why we said it's not one of those videos. It's a real talk video for those who wanna know what's really going on. And we're gonna get a some real analysis when we dissect some footage in our coming video. Because there's been a lot of unfair advantages and battles purposely set up by people. So simply hearing stories about how some lion killed a tiger or tiger killed a lion means absolutely diddly fucking squat. Fans of each animal always want to bring up some story that's actually worthless in the big picture. So you've gotta use your common sense. 
Now you know we cover the fight game and you're one of the very knowledgeable hardcores on the sport Sadie Sadie. So you know about weight classes catch weights drain and motherfuckers and all those other little tricks when fighters enter the ring. Same goes with these kinda matchups. We saw a mongoose versus a cobra fight once where the cobra defeated the mongoose. We can easily tell you that story and leave out the fact they threw the mongoose in a two foot cage with the cobra with no room to maneuver. To do that and claim a cobra would win in a natural settings very deceptive. Betting on a mongoose is a good idea however in a two foot cage it isn't. Now that we got that out of way. To get a this match up. Unlike some of the slimy unnatural shit that's been done we're gonna do some real talk on a fair fight between these two beasts. That means two cats in their prime. Best versus the best. And keep in mind there's more than one kinda tiger, but even though they're from different regions they do have a middle meeting point. Most are familiar with the Sumatran Bengal and Siberian tiger. But since we're doing the heavy weights we'll go with the Siberian tiger. Now the average full grown prime lion can weigh up to 500 pounds give or take a few pounds and change. We've heard stories of lions weighing a couple hundred pounds more than that but we didn't personally weigh the motherfuckers so who knows. However it's probably true, nonetheless we're speaking on the average prime 500 pound lion. And that's a big motherfucker. A man half that weights a big motherfucker so you can imagine an animal with sharp teeth and claws. The Siberian tiger can weigh anywhere from 600 and fitted a 700 plus pounds. And they've been recorded weighing over a thousand. This tiger would literally be looking down at Shaq if he was standing on his hind legs. Now that's an extremely big motherfucker. As for claims. Like who's bites the hardest between lions and tigers. Who's stronger? Most of it's crap. Like you'd have to explain to the lion and tiger that it's a jaw strength test and a please bite down on a something that could gauge it with all their strength. And the tiger and lion would have to be like. Cool okay we agree let's do it. And that shit's never happened. But a question Sadie Sadie. Is who wins in a fight between a prime lion or tiger in tip top shape? Anna cut to the chase because we've talked enough without giving an answer. Is this. In a fight between these two. And who'll win. Well. The answer is. The lion. That's right. The lion. Who's gonna get his ass beat from pillar to fucking post by the ferocious tiger. Sorry lion lovers. Yo yo look we love the lion too. But it can't compete with no tip top tiger. They'll fucking destroy the lion. Don't look at chopped up purposely edited footage and believe foul play stories. This is no bias. We're talking two natural beasts in their natural state. Not some heavyweight lion killing some little half grown female Bengal tiger. They love throwing a male lions in with the female tigers because the world knows male lions have the main but usually can't tell its fight in a female tiger. The male lion has the advantage yet and still the ironies quite often even the female tiger still beats him. Now we understand there's a bias love for the lion. Especially in Hollywood. Everything's about the lion. The male lion of course. Because they love the mane. Which we must agree looks magnificent. Like a king's crown. Naturally they could give two shits about the females. But from movies whether literal lions are in them to animation to simply using the name in a symbolical fashion. Like no one says tiger heart. It's just not catchy and more than anything it's not catchy because motherfuckers possess no tiger knowledge. Yet the irony is no one goes to a dojo to learn lion showman kung fu. Because those who know real combat know that animals not skilled like that. Nor it have a lot of heart contrary to the false claim. Africa's got a king but it's not a feline. All this false credit to the lion while ducking the truth about the tiger. Though women will say he's a tiger. There's a reason for that too. Because tigers are gigolos. Oh yeah they'll take the alpha lion's woman in a flash after they bust his ass and she'll like it too. Because the lion will just screw but the tiger will bring her chocolates and flowers. Metaphorically that is. Then bang her in every kinky fucking way the lion never imagined. Literally that is. He's kinky and romantic all in one. That's why the lioness knocks the lion out of the way and lifts upper lioness tail in front of the tiger when a tiger comes. We're gonna tell you something else. Have you ladies seen Francis? You know my tiger. Shout out to my little friend! There's also a reason Tyson and Scarface picked a fucking tiger. Hey you. Yeah you angry by a soul who's about to say the lion's king no animal on a planet can beat it and we're fools who have no idea what we're talking about. Fuck you here foreign shit. Didn't we say step? We said step. Fucking clowns.
We have no problem with differences of opinion expressed with diplomacy but we're not interested in none of the emotional crap. Now to get back to the topic. There's no bias in this we like lions. But if there's a lion and we can pick another prime lion or prime tiger to go in a battle. We're picking the tiger. Not because we love tigers more. But because we want to win. As we said. We know there's a Hollywood bias. You never even see a real lion tiger fight on screen because they're so busy trying to edit out all the ass kicking the tigers do into the lion. It'll look competitive with no cuts next thing you know the lion's on its back in the scene cuts. And there's a reason for that. The whole selling point from early on was the lion. It's vital they keep up the image. So they downplay the tiger. Even when they have tigers in animation they'll have some false perception of it to sell the lion. Or they'll make the tiger some ruthless scumbag bully ruler of the jungle beating up all the other animals. My, my, how you've grown. When that's actually the nature of the lion. Only difference is the tiger can really beat all the other animals while the lion can't and needs a pack. Sure it can beat up a lot of weaker animals that don't possess its physical attributes. But in general it wants no solo smoke with anything of size that has a combat pulse. You had that eye of the tiger, man, the edge. See, he didn't say eye of the lion because that would be stupid. The tiger will size you to fuck up with dagger eyes look through your soul and you better pray. See, no doubt the lion's vicious, and if you're an average human that hasn't befriended one we suggest you stay to fuck out of its way. But it's a pack creature not the solo dolo smart brave animal they're always showing. However when it comes to the tiger. That motherfucker's slick calm and witty. No bias. Trust us. Chuck Norris is the lion in this flick. And Bruce Lee's the tiger. Once again no bias. Just the raw facts and honesty. The simple truths the tiger's far more flexible and multi-dimensional in battle than the lion. Who basically throws one or two kinda strikes. The tiger throws every fucking thing. Haymakers jabs body shots uppercuts ducks rolls slips the jab bops and weaves body slams and frustrates the lion. They're boxers, boxer punchers, brawlers, sluggers, muggers, wrestlers and mixed martial artists all in one. If the tiger has the lion on his back the lion's in trouble. If the lion has the tiger on the tiger's back guess what? The lion's still in trouble. The tiger can go to work on its back just as effectively so give it a minute and it'll be the tiger that has the lion on its back. And please lion fans. We don't want to hear about no stupid claims made from clowns like Clyde Beatty. Who was a liar and scumbag. These trainers always want to claim they know because they worked with the big cats. A few do. But most don't know diddly fucking squat. We'll get to that in our why they get mauled video. But Clyde Beatty was a liar that played that bias crap too. The man claimed lions would beat the tigers because he had a lie. Yet this is the same man that admitted Chester the tiger brawled with seven lions. Fought off he claims. And Chester wasn't even the baddest biggest of the tigers. A lion's got a handful with one tiger so he's sure the fuck's not beaten seven. But the tiger's gonna fight seven of those motherfuckers single-handedly. And they still cut and beat him. Because the tiger's a bad motherfucker. Beatty never wanted to admit the truth because the lion was the man's money maker. The man even had family members that said he was a liar. But the ultimate blow for him was when he said lions could beat tigers and Mabel Starks challenged the motherfucker. Her tigers versus his lions. And he fucking ducked. That shit terrified that motherfucker. Once again he lied and said that would be cruelty. Though he partially told the truth. It would have been cruel. Farema watch his lions get slaughtered and eaten alive by Mabel's tigers. He simply knew his lions couldn't beat her tigers and the next day he'd be looking at empty lion cages. Starks on the other hand woulda had her tigers licking their paws without a scratch the next day. With lion meat in their bellies. Now once again we like lions. But in a fight the tigers a sick motherfucker. The lion's a pack creature and the tiger's content alone. And contrary to belief the lions aren't brought as the pack's a tool. Brothers don't play the alpha game which is faggoty suck a shit to tigers. If a tiger came up calling another masterful tiger alpha that tiger would be like. Get some balls you fucking faggot. And don't get it twisted because contrary to claims tigers will meet up and hang. Like anyone would with their homies. Then they're like. Okay cool seeing ya I'ma go do my thing. Or they'll be like, okay homies good seeing you but I got like my girl coming over. You've gotta go she's on her way. But lions will be like 20 feet away while the alpha lions get in pussy. They'll be like, yo homie that lioness tail you get in look good. Can I have some alpha when you're done? 
After all she is my wife. Yeah. They're quite lazy. Just wanna lay around and do nothing. But sunny day rainy winter spring summer fall don't matter for a tiger. Those motherfuckers do it all. Praise God a good chance of getting away from the lion if they can find some deep water. Hang that shit a fuck up against the crazy tiger. We saw one of them kill a crocodile. No biggie tigers kill crocs all the time. But this thing put a 8 foot motherfucker in a tree to come back and eat later. Like they'll stalk your ass. This motherfucker's in a tree trying to eat this damn thing. They'll do shit like that while the lion will be in their region of the world laying in a dirt. Now we know we said the tiger would win and some of you lion fans might be a little upset. Don't be. Here's some tissue for your tears. We have no problem with you believing the lion superior that's your business. Like who the fuck cares? We're totally cool with it if you want to believe the lion superior. We simply answered Sadie Sadie's question with honesty yet appreciate both these beasts. Much love to that sister. And until our next one. Peace. We're out.